Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm Rick. And we are Here We Go Again Camping. Guys, thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to bring to you a video of a new 2021 camper that is the Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH, meaning bunkhouse, right. series camper. And it sleeps 10. It does. And it's very nice. I love it. Um, we're not shopping for a camper. We are we are not shopping for a camper because we're very happy with the one we have. Yes, yes. But we are just getting out, yes. looking to see what's available. And I have to tell you, uh, so far this is the uh, second uh, 2021 that we've looked at. And I really like what they're doing in campers for the 20, the 21 year. Yes. It, it, it's really nice. But uh, thank you all for stopping by and checking out this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it or if you find it helpful. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can get our upcoming videos. But stay tuned as we bring you this uh, camper. Okay, so here is the layout of the 2800 BH. Uh, I really like this layout. Uh, there's, it's got a lot of things that I do miss about the open area um, in the living space. A couple of measurements here that surprised me. It's, this is 32 feet. It has a gray tank of 82 gallons. Wow. Now, how nice That's would cool. that be? I mean, with, with the showers and stuff. And you'll see this thing had a huge shower. Yes, it did. Uh, but it does have the Arctic insulation, um, which is really nice for camping in the cold weather. Had a nice big awning, but I'm a little disappointed that the awning did not cover the second door going into the master bedroom. I guess they don't really expect you to go through there very often. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, it would drive me crazy if the kids went in there, but uh, a lot. But here, as you see, you just got a little mini fridge and uh, a couple of burners outside, which is nice for an outdoor kitchen. Yes, it is. The tongue jack was automatic which is nice but uh, there was one thing that really disappointed me with this uh, this is a 50 amp electric uh, you also got your backup camera here which is coming pretty standard on all travel trailers now I believe okay here you go right inside the door is the control panel of course for the awning operations and the slide out and your water heater and things of that nature the only thing it does not have is the powered stabilizing jacks. Which, for me, I mean, you've got all this, I mean, huge showers, everything's powered. You've got, I don't know how many USB connections in here, but you didn't put power stabilizing jacks. You know, you have to just roll with the punches. <laughs> you get all the other stuff. Sometimes you just have to work hard but, for the other. I mean, for me though, I could do without USB connects. I mean, it's a little bit more uh, work when you're having to do the uh, stabilizing jacks. It takes like five minutes. It does, but I'm just saying, it's power everything, but no stable. I mean, you can see here, huge shower, lots of storage in here, which I loved. And the fact that, uh, you know, we have a nice shower in our uh, motorhome. When I see a shower like this with lots of space, I'm kind of envious in it because it's, it's really nice. Well, I also like the countertops Yes. and the storage there. Uh, as you can see, big open area here, entertainment center that has plenty of storage. When we first came in here, you saw where the bunk beds were open. Uh, you don't feel claustrophobic. And they actually had an area underneath for storage, which was nice. Yes. But look at all those drawers and uh, shelves. It's really nice to have all of that to put your things in. Yeah, I mean... Don't get me wrong, the space in here, I miss having this in a, in a travel trailer, having lots of room in the main living area. Because of how big the slide out yeah, is? Yeah, the slide out is, is, is huge. I mean, it, you know, you've got your couch and your uh, dinette. Uh, and of course, the dinette makes a bed uh, to sleep a couple of people. That's how you can get 10 people in here to sleep. But I mean, this little love seat actually, I think it massaged and heated. It did. You know, uh, as you'll see, massage, heat. But no power stabilizing jack. 
He's not gonna get over that. I am not. The kitchen is pretty big size. It's the basic oven range, microwave, refrigerator, but uh, the sink is huge. Uh, you have enough storage here for everything, or at least we would. Yeah. Um, what I like is the additional countertop that you'll see here in the just little, a minute. The little flip up here. Yes, yeah, the, I love that. I wish more campers had that. I wish ours had that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's actually a little handy when you're preparing meals and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, it does give you a little bit more room. Yeah. Um, another thing about this, there's only one door into the master ba our bedroom. Yeah. I know on our passport there was actually two. But I kind of like this where there's just one way in. Plenty of storage space above and on the sides um we would still run into that problem about reading at night or anything you wouldn't be able to sit up in the bed because how it's angled but the nooks here with the usb cables and the plug-ins i think are fantastic yeah, great I mean, idea because you can put your phone there a clock radio your books your glasses it's handy. whatever it's really it, nice it'd be really handy uh you know for relaxing and as you can tell here the awning does not cover this door like we'd mentioned earlier. For me, that that would that and the fact that there's no power jacks, that would drive me crazy. Even though you're not using that door a lot, you know, the kids, I would ban them from coming in to the, yeah. you know, from keeping mud and everything. But still, I mean, it'd be nice to be able to open that up and have a screen door or something during the rain. Yeah, Wouldn't sure. It? I mean, that's just what I'm saying. A couple more feet. And as you can tell here, our son, uh, is just sitting and uh, he had a long day of looking at a camper so he had to sit and get a little massage and heat. <laughs> he absolutely loves looking at campers though. All of our kids do. That's yeah. one of the reasons why we go do it too is just because it gets us out, gets us looking at different things. They absolutely love it. Um, and he absolutely loves anything electronic. Buttons, games, whatever. So yeah. he loves that. All in all, I really like this camper. I like the open space, the layout, the nook in the bedroom for the phones, the dinette, the shower, the chairs, the storage. Did I say storage? Rick would have to get over the stabilizing jacks, so a lot of people probably would. Yeah, I would have to put the kids out there to do that and uh, make sure the camper's level and everything, but I really like this camper. Uh, please check it out. Uh, do some research online and let us know what you think. <laughs> Hello campers, thank you for stopping by and checking out our video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it or if you found it helpful, but you could subscribe to our channel by clicking over here. Or if you'd like and see one of our previous videos, you can click up here. Or if you want to check out our apparel shop, click down here. Yeah, we really appreciate all the support and thank you for watching. And until next time, safe travels and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.